Hello and welcome to another great tutorial brought to you by Mac Production. In this tutorial, we'll be solving this problem right here uh, when I can find it. So if I go on desktop, I think I've saved a screenshot of it somewhere here. Uh, I'm sure it's here. Right, okay. This problem. So simply, every time you run your Windows Media Player, it gives this server execution failed error. Now, this tutorial is long, so let's go ahead and get started. Simply to solve this, you need to open up command prompt, and uh, you need to run it as an administrator. Okay, and the user co account control will tell you, you know, do you want to run it? And you, cl you click yes. So, bring this up. In here, you need to type in regsvr. So register server 32, and then js JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript .dll. When you type this in. Um, it's vital that you run it as an administrator, so go ahead and click enter, and I'll give you a message saying it succeeded. Now, this is it. The problem is now solved, but but don't go anywhere because every time you restart your computer, every time the operating system restarts, this no longer works. JavaScript is unregistered again. Let's just say that. So how will we solve this problem? Well, simply what we need to do is we need to place this command in the startup folder. So every time our computer starts up, it runs this command. So let's go ahead and do that. Simply, we will need to create a BAT file, which is a file which runs command, according to me. <laughs> okay, so how how would we do this? Let me go ahead and delete this one and show you how to do it. So open up Notepad, and um, when you've opened it up, type in the same command you typed into here. So regsvr32. JSCrypt.dll. Go ahead and file, save as, and then in, di in this dialog box, you want to save it. Well, you can name it whatever you prefer. I'm going to name it server registration, so RVG. And then the format um, of the file has to be .bat. Click the drop down, type, and select all files, and click save. Now, uh, I've saved it in this saved in this folder. There it is. Now, what we'll need to do is you need to create a shortcut. So, uh, create shortcut to this file. And these two here are just a copy of them. I have to try it out first, obviously, because I can't be just giving away something which I've not tested. Okay. So, uh, how would you, because it's vital that we run this as an administrator, but we are unable to for some reason because you know it's been grayed out and I have no idea why that is so to know how to run this admin ad as an administrator you need to watch my other tutorial which is right here on the top right corner link and um, that'll show you how to run BAT files as an administrator next thing let's go ahead and place this shortcut into into our starter folder so go on to C drive and go on to user uh, select the administrator user, so that's MAK, and then app data. Now, if your app data is not showing up, you need to, uh, well, uh, you will need to go on to organize and folder and search options. Okay, uh, in here in the view, click show hidden files and folder drives and stuff. Click OK. If you, if another way of getting to this is by uh, going onto tools and folder options. Okay, and then when well, we go into the app data, go into roaming, and then go down and search for Microsoft. There we go. Microsoft, and then search for, I think it's Windows we're searching for here. Yep, we're searching for Windows. And then start menu, okay, programs, and then start up. And this is where you will need to place your shortcuts. So, um, drag this into here, and this is it. Now, remember, watch my previous, uh, watch my other tutorial uh, to know how to run this shortcut as an administrator, because otherwise, you know, it wouldn't work. So, let me go ahead and test this out. Double click on this. Now, here it is. I'm running it as an administrator, and this is literally what will happen. Okay, so I'm going to run this as an administrator. Remember, you don't want to be doing this again and again. 
So watch my tutorial. Okay, minimize this. There we go. Successfully been registered. Click OK, and that's it. And that's pretty much all from this tutorial. Um, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and like the video. And well, if you like the video, then like the video, obviously. And um, I'll see you guys in the tutorial.